really appreciate. Good morning and welcome to Hendricks Middle School, home of the Hawks. My name is Jeff Leard and I'm the very proud superintendent of schools here in Forsyth County. Would you please stand if you're able and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance.
August 5th. Cheryl, thank you for your hard work and your dedication in making today a reality. And folks, I hope as you tour the facility, you really notice all of the details because it is very detail-oriented. And I know Cheryl has worked so hard, her and her team, so many hours, and doing all the little things, all the little touches to make this school warm and welcoming and inviting for all of our kids. And they have done a masterful job. At this time, please join me in welcome to the podium the Chair of the Forsyth County Schools Board of Education, Ms. Kristen Morrissey. Kristen? Good morning, and welcome to the opening of Henry's Middle School. Along with my fellow board members, as Dr. Reardon mentioned earlier, I'd like to recognize a few other people. I believe we have County Chairman Cindy Mills here. In the back, thank you. Wait. We also have...
like to present the school with this gift for the future Hawks to remember these adjectives. Intelligent, caring, supportive, courageous, and the man that embodied them.
So the dads help set up the lab and start their own geek squad. <laughs> Those volunteers labor tirelessly to keep that system operating and updated. Don also recognized that the existing and many new Forsyth businesses and corporations had resources and volunteers that could positively impact students and classrooms. So he and Dr. Whittle visited local businesses, both large and small, to gain their support. He also served on Midway's local school advisory committee, which was open to all parents to discuss ideas and issues. The community was growing and changing, and the new residents brought fresh ideas and experiences. The LSC was organized to gain stakeholder input and develop goals for school improvement. Don was an active participant and demonstrated his ability to assimilate information and ideas. His background in negotiation was often evident by his effectiveness in questioning and focusing on the issues. Those positive outcomes of Midway's local school council became the foundation for the implementation of LSCs in all Forsyth schools that preceded the state of Georgia mandate that all schools have councils. Because of his experience in the corporate world, Don Hendricks understood that for change to be effective, it must be systemic. He believed that Forsyth could become a world-class school system and he was committed to doing his part to achieve it. So he ran for a seat on the Board of Education, promoting three key initiatives, a community-based strategic plan, a strong partners in education program, and the establishment of local school councils at, at, at each school. So Don was elected and took office January 1, 1993, at a time when our county had begun to experience an unprecedented population explosion and a dramatic shift in demographics. During the decade of the 90s, Forsyth was the second fastest growing county in the nation. At the time Don was elected, there were 43,000 residents in Forsyth County and around 7,500 students in the schools. In a couple of weeks when school opens, enrollment is expected to be in excess of 52,000 students. In 1994, managing the growth, or the lack thereof, was a huge community concern. <laughs> so much so that the Board of Education, the Board of Commissioners, and the Chamber of Commerce began a joint initiative to discuss how to move forward. The outcome of many meetings was that the number one concern of the community was the schools, and the number one issue was the lack of a strategic plan for the school district. The consensus was that the district needed to develop plans to accommodate the enrollment increase, the changing demographics, and to, in, to, to increase students' exposure to the many new technologies now available. But questions arose about how such a plan would be developed. Many discussions and more community meetings were held. Most of the Board of Education, including Don Hendricks, parents, and many citizens recognized the importance of including a wide range of stakeholders with varied backgrounds and experiences to participate in the planning for the future. Don had had a successful career as a senior executive specializing in human resource strategic planning, union relations, and bargaining agreement negotiations, so he recognized that planning with input from all was critical to any organization's success. Don Hendricks was the champion for that community-based plan that united growing for Scythe around public education, designed the district's first technology plan, and propelled for Scythe County schools on a course of high expectations and increased academic success. The foundation for the technology and many other innovative ideas and programs that have supported the higher academic goals for all Forsyth students and schools came from that original plan in 1995. Hundreds of Forsyth County parents, educators, citizens, civic and business leaders worked together to develop that plan. And the process continues to today with a renewed plan every five years. 
The Board of Education charged that original steering committee for the plan to find additional avenues for business and community involvement in our education system. The Forsyth County Chamber of Commerce had always been and continues to be an exceptional and strong supporter of our schools and school district. That positive relationship with the business community has continued to thrive and nurtures and celebrates the success of our schools that we all enjoy today. Because of his early support, in 2002, after his death, the Don Hendricks Partnership Award was established. This award presented annually is the highest honor that a partner in education can receive. The recipient is the one who best exemplifies the mission of the Partners in Education program and demonstrates loyalty to the school system and the community. So congratulations, Hendricks Middle School. Your students, staff, parents, and community can proudly proclaim your namesake was instrumental in laying the groundwork for building Forsyth County Schools into one of the best school districts in our country. I look forward to watching your progress. Go Hawks! Personally, it's also exciting for me as I'm a Forsyth County resident. 
Uh, I have four daughters that are all in the Forsyth County school system, uh, and we're very happy customers. Um, and it's just an honor to be part of a school system uh, that is built with the legacy of people like Don Hendricks um, and to enjoy a school system of that high quality. Um, you know, I've heard it said that the, uh, the days are long, but the years are short. I think as I look back on this project, uh, I thought about that. It seemed like just, you know, the other day, we were out here on this property doing the groundbreaking, and here we are one global pandemic later, and we have a beautiful middle school. Um, so I, I just thought about that, and uh, I think everybody's experienced a lot of challenge over the last year and a half. Um, there's just been a lot of things that's gone into making this middle school a reality. So just wanted to share a few fun facts from the construction standpoint. Um, in this building, there's over 4,000 cubic yards of concrete. Uh, that's enough concrete to completely fill the Olympic swimming pool that they will use over the next two weeks and have some left over to fill some community neighborhood pools around in the area. Uh, there is 732 tons of steel in this building. Uh, that is equal to about 350 pickup trucks. Uh, there's over 450,000 CMU block in this building, and that is enough to build a wall about eight feet tall from this school to the Forsyth County Board of Education office. Uh, there is more than two, about 200,000 square foot of finished flooring in this building, and that would cover the Hendricks Middle School football field about four times. Uh, I did not do this project alone by far. There's many people involved in it. Uh, when we look back over uh, the labor that it took to make this a reality, there was about 100 plus different trades people on average on this project site a day for the life of the project. They worked an average of 11 hours, six days a week, many times seven. Um, and that combines to be a total of about 570,000 man hours. Uh, to put that in perspective, that's enough hours that you can drive from New York to LA uh, about 12,000 times. Uh, so a lot went into making this school a reality, especially under the challenges of the global pandemic and everything else that we've experienced. Um, but it's an exciting school. Uh, we're excited to be here today to turn it over um, as we finish this construction phase and this construction life cycle. We really get to give it over to y'all to let it fulfill its purpose. Uh, we're excited for the faculty and staff to be able to go make that a reality. And we're excited to see all the students that will come through here and see all the places they will go. So thank you very much for letting us be part of the project. Luckily, I have a wonderful community, I think, that will support and will have an open door policy that whenever there are items or issues or concerns, that please don't hesitate to come and speak with me and we'll work it out together. Um, I did have just a couple of people that I did need to recognize before we move on to the uh, flag racing. I really appreciate Greg Smith with J.W. Buckley and Associates and Evergreen Construction for designing and building this beautiful school. District office staff, my elementary, middle, and high school colleagues for ongoing support. I see a lot of you out there and it warms my heart to know that you're here and being supportive of what we are trying to accomplish here at Hendricks Middle School. Thank you to Dr. Jim and Mandy Morrow for these beautiful flowers that you provided for uh, us today. She was one of my uh, principals for the day over at Liberty, and she has just continued to show her support to not only me, but to this school system. Thank you to our Hendricks PTO team for already making such great contributions to this school. I'm going to ask that if you're a member of our Hendricks staff family, Please stand. Hendrick staff family. I want to see all of you people or wave your hands or something. Let me know that you're out there. You are amazing. Amazing. Thank you. And I can't wait to start this exciting journey with you. I want to give a special thank you to my mom and dad. I do want to, I want to appreciate my mom and dad for raising me to believe that I can accomplish anything 
that I put my mind to. And more importantly, what they taught me about caring, love, and respect for everyone. So thank you for that. Thank you to my growing uh, family. And if you don't mind, raise your hand or uh, stand up or something. But uh, thank you for all of my family. Every day that has supported me over the years and has supported me helping to live out my dreams. So thank you. And finally, I'd like to thank the students, families of this Hendricks community who are on this exciting journey. And it's going to be a great year. I cannot wait. Before we move to flag raising, I need the following people to join me for the official ribbon cutting photo outside. Dr. Jeff Bearden, Ms. Lindsay Adams, Ms. Kristen Morrissey, Mr. Tom Cleveland, Ms. Darla Light, representatives from the Hendricks family, Solicitor General Bill Finch, Commissioner Cindy Mills, uh, and Sheriff Ron Freeman if he is here. So at this time, we will have some of my uh, students uh, that are already here, my football team, my cheerleaders, and I have a student advisory group that is ready to uh, be able to tell you a few fun facts about different places within this school whenever you start uh, the tour. But we're going to have, you can enter, exit these and in the back here, and if you would just go ahead and move toward the uh, flagpole and we'll start the flag racing. Thank you. Oh, say does that 
face. Move. Forward. March. Come right. March. Three, two, one. We need the scissors to be sharp. <laughs> Welcome to Hendrix Middle School, home of the Hawks. All right. Thank you to everybody that came out today. If you would, this is a self-guided tour. There will be maps that students will be handing out, and we have uh, students that are standing in different areas to tell you a little bit about the space. So please go and enjoy.